What'd that guy say? He said he was FBI. Is he still here? No, he left his card. What's up, man? Leave. Hi, Anthony. Hey. Do you know a Justin Palmer or something? I can't read well. You have a serious problem. You're on our fucking radar. Yeah, I understand that, but what I want to know is, who do I have to give some badass hoodies to to make this go away? Huh? You see enough of these things happen and you gotta be smart and make a deal. You think I started watch Dylan yesterday? No, I had to learn the hard way. I watched how other Dillers did business and copied their methods. You gotta understand, I'm not the only one out here conducting business like this. I have to box everything up and run and hide now, but I don't even have my box packer. They're busy living a badass lifestyle on the beach without actually working. Who can I get to help me? I have no one left. Hey, Jimmy. What's up? Give me a five hour energy. Bro, I tell you to I get like had five on the day. I know, but I keep trying to quit. You quit? I need one though. This is the same guy that says, oh, let's, <laughs> let's start our diet tomorrow. And then That's two days later. Unhealth. I ain't healthy today. Yeah, and, we're gonna go, and we're gonna go work out after this. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah, we're gonna go work out. We're not getting ice cream, we're dieting today. Yeah, we as a new brother, right? You're not dieting today? Bro, I'm on my own diet. You're not gonna be in LA shape. I'm happy with my body, bro. I'm not happy with your body. 2022, the dad bod. No, that was 2018. And it's passed. Dad bod went out when COVID came in and people started getting, started getting more active. Mm -hmm. I just gotta cut down my dessert. It's because of this guy. It was. <laughs> <laughs> Green juices, chickpeas, wheatgrass shot, hot yoga. Netflix and chill. And no dessert. Chase, C H A S E dot com. Wow. <laughs> Dude, you type in C H S E, bro. I'm typing fast, okay? You're not even typing your password right now. Dude, you are. Thank you for calling public storage. I'm John. How can I help you today? Hey, John. I need a storage unit that's ground floor level. I'm putting a bunch of safes, so they're heavy. I have to have ground floor One room access. worth of safe. Yes. Okay. Are you looking for drive up? Yes. And I'm also going to put some motorcycles in there. Okay. You want to go see it, right? In person? Yes. Just to just to double check and make sure visually it's going to make... Like I can fit all the safes in yeah. the right way next to each other. And then the bikes and... I might also live in there. Alright, Anthony. Anything else I can help you with? That's it. Thank you very much. Can I get some boxes to sleep on? I've got massage beds, but they're for clients. Anthony Ferrer, why did you file a motion for an emergency hearing? Your Honor, I know it's an honor for me to be here today. I need to be let out of jail immediately. Why would I do that? Well, you see, I'm currently on 75 hard and need to be seen working out at Equinox and other expensive gyms. I also have to pivot and launch my new YouTube series for my fans. For your only fans? No, not for only fans, for my fans. 
I play a successful watch dealer on the internet in a series of YouTube videos and social media posts. Call Roman, ask Roman. What is your new YouTube series? The new YouTube series was supposed to be me traveling the world to exotic locales such as Brazil or other non-extradition countries. Then I was going to set up Tugger University and of course continue Dylan watches. It's about the vibe and being in gel is totally killing my vibe. I don't care about your vibe, Tugger. Lithin, the conditions in this gel have been horrible. There's no sushi or steak. They don't let me drive a golf cart, much less a Lambo. How am I supposed to flex in here? On the plus side, I've been making crazy money to pay the eventual restitution. How have you been making money behind bars? I've been doing what I'm great at. I've been tugging away for long hours. I wake up and tug, I nap, then I tug. I'm tugging around the clock. What about the videos that show you not keeping your word? Um, that's fake news from my haters on Reddit. I always do exactly what I say. I literally explained the wire fraud charges to people in Cornelius's last video. I've been super transparent since day one. You are pissing me off. I have a video of you failing 75 hard. I'm sending you back to your cell until the next official hearing. I offered them $100 to skip a bunch of rooms and come to us first. Good for them. There's paying customers that just got passed up, bro. But we're gonna get one of everything. Okay. Uh, so, that is our red velvet cake. We'll do yeah. one of those. Yeah. You want chocolate, right, Jimmy? Oh, okay. You want I chocolate, have you right? put it on there? Jimmy, let's turn, it, let's turn the line. I want cheesecake with strawberry on it. Okay. Oh my gosh. Good thing, Rebel. Lemon bar and Rice crispy Treat as well? Yes, please. Hey, the faster you go, she doesn't get it. It's there free. You go. <laughs> 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 All right, this, this is not the way to a hundred thousand dollar fan house. That's in two months. Uh, two twenty-two ninety-two. That one is over. Dessert? That's overkill. Okay. Hey, don't forget a hundred dollar tip. Of course, no excessive. That's all good. <laughs> That's the extra If you're seeing this video, I'm currently in jail. Hey, Timepiece Tribe, by now I know some of you have heard whispers and rumors. Maybe you've even been interviewed by a few FBI agents, but let me set the record straight. I've been accused of a few things, wire fraud, deception, you name it. But let's be real, I'm just ahead of my time. I've read find the game, turned the consignment world into a thrilling roller coaster, and those losses, just a little turbulence on the journey to greatness. I'm not a cone artist. I'm a freaking maestro orchestrating a symphony of success. So, haters, keep hating, because I'm still living that timepiece life. Cheers to the baddest watch dealer in the game. Now, some might say I've got a Lamborghini-sized ego, but come on, who wouldn't? Living the dream, cruising in luxury, handling timepieces like a boss. You see, I didn't defraud anyone. I just offered them a front row seat to the timepiece experience. Some call it wire fraud. I call it interactive storytelling. And that Rolex mix-up? Just a little plot twist in the timepiece saga. I've been the puppet master, pulling strings, and damn, the world danced to my tune. So, while they try to put me in cuffs, remember, I'm not a fraud. I'm the real-time influencer, the grandmaster of Watch Dylan. Life's a gamble, baby, and I've been rolling the dice. Stay tuned for the next chapter. It's gonna be legendary. Timepiece out.